Okay, so today we're going to use tabulated free energies of formation to calculate the equilibrium constant for this reaction at 298 Kelvin. So in order to find the equilibrium constant, the first thing we're going to do is find the delta G of reaction. And we're going to do that by multiplying the moles of each product by delta G of formation and then subtracting it by the moles of each reactant multiplied by its delta G of formation. So the delta G of reaction is going to equal 2 moles times the delta G formation of NO2 gas minus 1 mole times the delta G of formation of N2O4 gas. So the delta G reaction equals 2 moles multiplied by 51.3 kilojoules per mole minus 1 mole multiplied by 99.8 kilojoules per mole. Plugging this into our calculator, we get the delta G of reaction equals 2.8 kilojoules, which also equals 2,800 joules. Now we're going to use this delta G to find K. So we found that our delta G of reaction equal 2,000 800 joules. Now how are we going to use that to find K? Well we're going to use the equation delta G of reaction equals negative R T ln K. We can rearrange this by dividing each side by negative RT. And we'll get the ln of K equals delta G reaction over negative RT. Now all we have to do is plug in the numbers that we found. So the ln of K equals this delta G reaction that we found, 2,800 joules divided by negative R, that's a constant, 8.314 joules per mole times Kelvin, multiplied by 298 Kelvin. Plugging this into our calculator, we get the natural log of K equals about negative 1.13. And to get rid of this natural log, we're going to have to take E raised to both sides. E raised to the ln of anything cancels out, and you're left with K equals E raised to the negative 1.13, and K equals 0 0.32.